Well, Halloween's over. That means you have to go back in here till next year. Until then, it's not too early to put this up now, is it? Hey guys, what is up? This is Nancy Day. It's me once again. Uh, welcome back to another monthly vlog. This time for November, and oh boy, uh, there's quite a bit of stuff that I do plan on doing in November. In terms of Thanksgiving, my, my family's going to be coming over at my house for Thanksgiving, so yeah, I'm going to switch things up a little bit since uh, this is my first year living by myself. Well, not really by myself. I mean, there's other people here, but yeah, but anyways, uh, I'm not going to see a movie till next week because there really isn't that many movies coming out this week, I don't think, but yeah, anyways, on to the vlog. I guess to start things off, um, I was given this poster for Terrifier 3, which there isn't even a trailer yet, but I've heard that uh, there is supposed to be one pretty soon. So, yeah, obviously it's Art the Clown in a murderous uh, Christmas setting, so, yeah, I guess it's confirmed that Terrifier 3 will be a Christmas movie, because this is a, this is a poster, this is a actual poster, so yeah, Terrifier 3 is going to be coming probably sooner if... It, it, it might be this year, um, because otherwise, why else would we be getting a trailer soon, or why else would there be a poster during Christmas? Like, uh, like if that's the case, uh, if it's not going to be Christmas, when is it going to be? March? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but I do like the design, though. It is it is pretty cool. It's just I don't expect this to be, like, the official poster if it is. It's just, I, don't, I mean, I don't expect it to be, like, a... Well, well, whatever. It, it, it looks cool. <sighs> Five more pounds lost this week. In total, I have lost 45 pounds. And honestly, I am feeling... I have been feeling so much better. It's something I want to continue doing. So, yeah, hopefully I'll lose 50 pounds before Thanksgiving. All right. Got another game from Gamefly in the mail. Uh, yeah. In honor of me losing uh, five more pounds, hopefully this will be something incredible. Why do I always get my hopes up too high? Uh, I am so not looking forward to this. Not at all. Oh, man. What is up with that audio? Is this taken from a movie or something? Like, like that crappy Rambo game? Jesus, what? This isn't off to a good start. And after the cutscene, it literally just jumped right into the game. Oh my god, that run cycle. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, did... Did they even try? Like... They had to try with something. Oh no, I don't see a difficulty option. That's not good. Oh man, I'm really worried about this. And I just ran into my first glitch. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, I could just stop playing right now. Oh my god. Yeah, I could just stop playing right now, but... Oh man. Oh my god. Oh man. What have I gotten myself into? Uh, if I ever do uh, finish that K Kong game, wh whatever it was called, then I'll reward myself by playing Alan Wake 2. I've been hearing tons of great things about this one, so I'm really looking forward to it. Too bad it's going to take a really long time to download because my PS5 is way too far from my internet router, so yeah, that's something that's going to suck. But in the meantime, I'll just torture myself with more... Skull Island, whatever, Kong. Alright, well, I haven't beaten this game, but you know what, I'm just done with it. This game does a horrible job at showing you which way to go, because I don't know why, but it, it just feels like a really bad, like, early 2000s game in HD, and the game just, it just feels super repetitive, every single level looks the same, it just, it's, it's not worth it, not even for a good laugh, because, uh... It, it it just has me wondering, did they even try with this? Did they even try to 
give this game like any any care taken into it so people will actually have a good time with it uh probably not but you know what i'm done with this i am never playing it again now i am going to reward myself by playing alan wake 2 which i'm sure i'm gonna have a really good time with <sighs> farewell skull island i am so so not going to miss you uh, I certainly am gonna miss this pumpkin, though. Ew, what is that? What is that sludge? Should probably throw it out now. I am just realizing this now. There has been some housework back here, and I did not notice they were building a staircase for the patio, or the balcony up there. That is probably gonna be super helpful, because I had to walk all the way down to the basement just to get back here to throw the pumpkin away, so... Now I know next time. I have other ways of getting back here. Also, I just realized that fence was open. I I thought it was closed, but apparently it wasn't. All of a sudden, Alan Wake 2 just turned into a music video. I'm not going to lie, it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> By the way, this is actually a cutscene in the game. This isn't like a trailer or anything. This is actually in the game. I'm actually playing it right now, and it's a cutscene. So I'm going to see tonight's mystery movie at Regal. Uh, I have been told that it might be the Marvels, but it also might be Taika Waititi's new film, Next Goal Wins. I've been hearing mixed things about it, or I saw mixed things about it, like I haven't read anything about it, but uh, I don't know. Either way, um, I'm not like too hyped for the Marvels, but it would be nice if uh, it was the Marvels. That way I would just get it out of my list, but... Yeah, I, I, I doubt it is because, you know, it's the runtime is just one minute shorter than that film. So, yeah, but either way, uh, just in case, I'm still going to see it, but I'm not going to get my hopes up. Yeah, it, it was Next Goal Wins. I mean, I already knew it because uh, they played the Marvel's trailer. So, yeah, it was all right. Uh I, I kind of expected a little bit better, especially with a director like Taika Waititi. So it was just announced that uh, apparently Sony is doing a live-action Zelda movie. So uh, I guess that whole Illumination Nintendo Universe thing isn't really going to happen, but I don't know. Either way, um, I'm not really going to believe it until I actually see like actual footage of the movie, but... If that's the case, then I will anticipate because massive Legend of Zelda fan, but yeah, we'll just see how that plays out. All right, I'm going to be seeing the Marvels later today. Uh, if you're wondering why my hair is so messy, even though it always is, I got out of the shower. Uh, and yesterday they just released a trailer for the new Ghostbusters, the sequel to Ghostbusters Afterlife. Um, I haven't watched it yet. And they just released a trailer for Inside Out 2 that's going to be coming out next year. Not Elio because, well, that was supposed to be next, but that got delayed to uh, I don't know when, but I haven't watched that either. I'm just going to wait until it's more than likely going to play when Wish comes out, so I'll just wait till Wish comes out. Uh, but yeah, I'm keeping my expectations low for the Marvels. I, I'm i either going to like it or I'm just going to think it's meh. At least that's my predictions. Like, uh, critics, some critics are absolutely loving it, some are just thinking it's eh. I'm probably going to be on the same lines as just eh, because, you know, Marvel... I really don't get uh, as excited for Marvel movies as I used to because, let's be honest, it's just getting way too out of hand. It really needs to take a break, but yeah, because it's more than likely that this movie isn't going to be doing that well. I mean, Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania didn't do that well. Uh, neither has any DC movie this year. Uh, I don't know how much Blue Beetle did, but I don't think it did uh, that good either. But we're just going to have to wait and see. I know that uh, pre-sales have been low for Captain Marvel, so I'm going to be seeing it in IMAX. Usually, I uh, it's always packed when I go to an IMAX showing, but usually at Thursday nights. But I I doubt it this time because tons of fans hated Captain Marvel. I thought Captain Marvel was good, but it certainly has major problems that can't be ignored. So I'm about to see the movie, and I picked up uh, Rosemary's Baby at Barnes & Noble. I could have honestly gotten it from Amazon because it was cheaper on Amazon, but I was just right there and I, I, I might as well just get it because it was just sitting right there and it didn't have a, 
it, it was usually the, nor the usual price a new 4K would usually come out, so yeah, I mean, it's pretty much one of the last places to get physical media, even though it's far more expensive, that's why I don't get physical media as much as in Barnes and Noble as in other places, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much going to be the only option soon since Best Buy, for some reason, thinks it's such a great idea to just get rid of physical media. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm really going to miss going to that place because I'm not going to be going to it anymore after that. So, uh, remember when I said, uh, I'm hoping that I'll at least, uh, my goal will, my goal so far would at least be around 50 pounds, uh, hopefully before Thanksgiving. Well, I lost six pounds this week. So now I'm at 51. Thanksgiving is in two weeks, and I already managed to reach that goal. I am on a roll, and honestly, I can't believe how far I've made it. So, yeah, I'll still continue getting there, like, getting down as much as possible before Thanksgiving, because, and I just can't believe how far I've come, and I, I just can't stop now. It's, it's really been an experience being able to lose all this weight, and hopefully I'll, hopefully I'll be at a very good number by the end of the year. Also, I'm going to be seeing It's a Wonderful Knife uh, this afternoon. I, I didn't even see a trailer for that, so I don't know what the entire premise is going to be like, so I'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, I got out of the shower, but I almost forgot. Captain Marvel was... it was alright. Yeah. Also, the shirt I'm wearing right now, um, it's a large. Like, usually I would wear an XL because that was my normal size, but because I managed to lose so much weight, I'm able to uh, wear smaller shirts now. So, yeah, making a lot of progress here. So the movie actually wasn't that bad. Um, so yeah, I'm about to microwave another Lean Cuisine because not only have I been working out, but I also have been changing my eating habits. I know I'm eating an apple around dinner time, but I, I usually have one in the morning. I didn't have one in the morning, so. One of the best suggestions I recommend uh, for people who uh, want to exercise and uh, want to work out more and want want to tend to to lose the body fat, I recommend trying Celsius. Uh, it has no sugar uh, and it tends to burn body fat. So uh, yeah, it this helped out a lot. Like uh, this gave me like more than enough energy. Uh, to lose all this weight so um yeah there's different flavors there's lemon lime which is also really good there's uh i think there's apple and there are other there are a bunch of other different flavors uh so yeah this helped out a lot so yeah i always i've been drinking this like almost every day there were some times where i skipped out but yeah i just i i can't exercise without this because yeah but i i i, I recommend it it and it tastes great too, so yeah, even even though there's no sugar in it, it still tastes really good. It's November 11th and I completely forgot to mention this, but today is my 12th anniversary on YouTube. I started YouTube on a different channel all the way back on November 11th, 2011, and now it's 12 years later. I have spent half of my life on this platform. I honestly didn't think I would make it this far. I, I, I figured I would just have quit. There were some times in the past where I did want to quit, but... Of course, that didn't happen because I kind of just wanted attention, but hey, if there is a time where I'll quit, I'll quit for good, but that's not going to happen anytime soon because of the support I've received, and I mean, I still have those people that come up once in a while just to troll me, but uh, yeah, I am still, uh, I wouldn't necessarily growing strong because I'm not even close to 10,000 subscribers, uh, but I'll still try my best to get there. But just thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out. I'm 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 kidding. The vlog is still going on. So yeah, I, that just came into my head while, while talking about this. All right, I just got done with Alan Wake Two. Really, really enjoyed it. The conclusion I thought was a little. Um, well, I'm not really going to say anything. Bottom line is, I I thought it was great. Maybe even better than the first game, and I already thought the first game was great. So. Yeah, it's really been a good year for games. It's, it may be hard to believe, but it really has been. So, um, that trailer for the new Garfield movie. 
the fact that Chris Pratt uh, sounds pretty much just like Chris Pratt. Uh, but who knows how the movie's going to turn out. It doesn't come out till summer, so it could be good, could be bad. Could be all right. I just don't really understand why they just couldn't get Frank Welker back. I mean, they could do that in Scoob, but not in this new Garfield movie. But uh, I, I don't know. But anyways, going back to the gym, really, really focused on uh, exercise, especially since Thanksgiving is going to be coming up. And I said I was going to be celebrating Thanksgiving here, but I am. I'm just going to go uh, celebrate at my dad's house like I, I usually do. It, it it's a long story, but. Yeah, I know. I, I am a little nervous because, uh, you know, Thanksgiving meals, but uh, that's pretty much going to be my biggest uh, meal in uh, quite some time. So, yeah, but I'm still really focused on the exercise team because I've made so much progress and it's something that I do not want to stop with now. Uh, also, I've been watching the documentary Super Size Me, and uh, yeah, um, I, I don't think I'm going to go back to McDonald's for at least another 10 years after watching that, but, yeah. And I've heard there's a sequel, so I might as well watch that as well. Alright, so I'm going to be going to get my hair cut. I'm going to take a, a ride to my mom's place, uh, because, she, so she won't have to pick me up all the way over here. Also, I want to see my cats. I haven't seen them in, like, over three weeks, and uh, I just want to go back and see them in case they forget about me. But, yeah, the reason why I don't, um, why I haven't been going to my mom's place that often is just due to the fact that I want to lose as much weight as possible. That way, I'll have more time to do other things. I know I really shouldn't rush it, but I've just been making so much progress that I just don't want to stop now. So, yeah, I know I've been talking a lot about my weight, but I, 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 I've just been so hooked on trying to lose all this weight. And after watching both Super Size Me and Super Size Me 2, even though Super Size Me 2 was a lot more of a film about a guy trying to find the right type of chicken so he can open up his restaurant rather than, you know, health issues. Yeah, I still, I still don't want to end up like what he had to go through in Super Size Me 1. It's amazing he actually survived eating McDonald's for three days. Like, wow. That was like almost 20 years ago. So here's little Lena. Her eye is all patched up. She got the stitches out. Did my neck to boy. I get you. I'm glad you're actually sleeping on a bed instead of a box because most babies can always have a box. I remember when you were so much little. It's not even. It hasn't even been a year yet. But you know good to babies. I'm glad you two are getting along pretty well. You two sweet babies. I really miss I really miss you babies, you know. Ooh. Alright, so I just got my hair cut. Got my beard trimmed. Probably gonna go grow back in the next two days, but yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, I usually like to come to a certain place. Uh, there's a certain guy that cuts it. He does a really good job, so yeah. Remember as a kid, like every time you turn this thing off, your parents will like freak out. I've seen so many memes about that, but yeah. yeah so many, so many times this happened to me when I was younger, like like, <laughs> like what, what's the big deal? I'm just turning on a light. It's not like it's not like the planet's going to explode or something, just... <laughs> Four more pounds lost this week. Really been making progress here. I'm already at 55 pounds, and I, will, and I assume that I would lose at least 50 pounds till Thanksgiving. Well, it's only a week till Thanksgiving. Speaking of which, I'm going to see Thanksgiving today, uh, later this afternoon. But for now, I am playing a new game that just came out. And it's a game that isn't for my age at all, but I'm playing it anyway. And there's a big reason why. It's because it's the new Bluey game. Yeah, that's right. I'm actually going to play this. I spent 40 bucks just to get this. And I know it's it's not physical. I was supposed to get this. The bottom line is I'm playing it. So, yeah, no going back now.
Okay, so I'm trying to move this thing, but Bingo's in the way. Look at her just standing there. Stop being precious. Stop. I can't stay mad at you. Even for a kid's game, it still manages to have its fair share of bugs and glitches. And unfortunately, I can't get out of this one. Unless the timer runs out. So yeah, I had a really fun time with uh, Thanksgiving. Um, when I get home, I am uh, going to edit my review. And in terms of that Bluey game, I managed to finish the story before the before I even managed to come here. Way before. So yeah, that's that's the one thing that I'm kind of disappointed with, that it doesn't have a whole lot of content, but I really shouldn't have expected that much, because it is a kid's game, but I am going to try to get the Platinum Trophy, which I'm really this close to getting, so thankfully it's it's not too difficult, or trifficult. Uh, Chili, Bingo, uh, what are they? Are you are you too okay? You're just uh that uh um <laughs> seriously even at the beach and it's done uh no challenge whatsoever but I won't lie I am gonna miss playing this. Yeah, so um, later this evening, I actually received something in the mail. Do you want to know what it is? Yeah, I already finished this game and I already own the physical version, even though I bought the digital one. And I know what you're thinking. Why did you buy the same game twice? Well, um, this was actually a gift. So um, it wasn't a waste. Besides, you see all that right there? Yeah, um, I'm just gonna put it right there, so I have a perfectly good reason to own it now, even though I already beat it. Yeah. I know, I could've just gotten a Super Mario RPG remake instead. I will be playing that. I definitely will. It just probably won't be anytime soon. One of the reasons is because, um, well... I haven't played this yet, but I just got this in the mail of, uh, super, uh, no, not super, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I haven't played it yet. I'm probably not even gonna finish the campaign because I don't even think I made it halfway through the, the campaign for Modern Warfare 2. I don't know, it's just Call of Duty really isn't my thing. Also, you notice the tree back there. Yeah, there's more stuff I want to get for it, but, yeah, and besides, um, I'm gonna be going to... I'm going to be going uh, to my dad's place, like, Wednesday. I mean, I don't know. I may have time to beat it, but I have to work the next few days. And I have the, the movie tomorrow. And we're probably going to go to dinner afterwards. And I'm still focused on working out. And I heard very little good things about it. So, yeah. Um, I'm not... <laughs> if I don't finish this, then, you know, it, it won't be a big deal for me. So... All right, guys, something big just happened. This should tell, or yeah, should tell you that I've really made a lot of progress. All right? Because if this doesn't make you believe, then I don't know what will, okay? Check this out. This is my Leon Kennedy jacket. It has never been able to shut all the way. It's only been able to, like, go... Like how you Leon would usually wear it. But now it's able to shut all the way. I mean, it's still... I'm still a little scrunched in. But this should tell you that I'm making so much progress. Like, I cannot believe this. This... This, this, this is just... I never thought that I would actually be able to shut this all the way. Because, honestly, after getting this, I thought I got it, like, in Japanese size. But now that I got it in, like, shut all the way, it's... It's just all the more impressive. Like, I could start wearing this once I get down to, like, 190 or something. Maybe maybe even more than that. Just, like, I I am just so proud of, of the way I look now. It just looks... I mean, I'm still going to continue. Just, like, look at that. That, that. that is incredible. I am... I am utterly shocked. I mean... Wow, I am just... <laughs> 
I'm just in shock about this. Like I am, I'm really happy with how I'm starting to look now. This, it's just incredible. I just can't believe this. It's okay. Okay. Anyways, I'm seeing Hunger Games. So yeah, I'll give you guys uh, an update on that. All right. So the movie was pretty good. I got a new t-shirt. It's a, it's a lower size uh, than what I usually was, but Trying to play the new Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 3 campaign, and uh, it was supposed to be downloading while I was gone, but apparently it downloaded the wrong campaign. Apparently it comes with Modern Warfare 2, which is something I don't understand, but yeah, it, uh, it requires more storage, which I ran out of, so I had to free up some storage for a campaign that I'm only going to play once. Yeah, I don't. it was at the point where I didn't think it was worth it, and just... Almost decided to just completely quit and delete the game, but uh, I just decided, you know what, I'll, I'll just try. I mean, it's, uh, I, I mean, my, my save data still, like, it still has my save data if I do delete the application. Though, when I went to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, when I deleted that, and then someone decided to use that copy on my PS5, the data was corrupted, but it happened for a lot of other people too, so I'm not really worried about that, but... Uh, yeah, I just, uh, this is probably not even going to be worth it. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to take a guess and it's probably not. And it is raining like crazy out right now. But anyways, I got off work. I won't be back for another week. So yeah, um, I'm, yeah, um, I'm, I'm going to be seeing Napoleon uh, for Thanksgiving. Go see it with my dad and I think my grandma's coming too. As for Wish, I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to see that. I'm probably just going to see that by myself. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just filming out of the rain because I kind of felt like it. Just, yeah, there's nothing more to, to that. But I'm going to be leaving for my dad's house tomorrow. So, yeah, pro the next scene's probably going to be at my dad's house. I don't know yet. It might. So I lied. There's still another scene in my house. Uh or around my house anyway, but I was pretty close to beating the campaign for Modern Warfare 3, but you know what? I stopped after the helicopter, like, shooting stuff out of the sky thing, like, shooting from the sky things, those black and white ones where you can't tell what anything is, and uh, you, you fail automatically for whatever reason. I hate those missions. That's pretty much the reason I never finished Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2's campaign. I know they're, I don't, I don't hear a lot of people get annoyed with them, but for me, I get super annoyed with them, but that's not really the main gripe that people are having with the game, no. There are just so many other things about the game that just, now, the game's not buggy or glitchy or anything like that, at least when I played it, it's just due to the fact that it just doesn't feel like anything new. It honestly just feels like, well, the last game and the game after, that's just, I don't think I'm going to play any more Call of Duty games, like, in terms of new ones, because they just don't... I didn't play the multiplayer, mainly just due to the fact that I'm not really much of a multiplayer guy, but I just I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it anymore. And if I'm being honest, I honestly had more fun with the Bluey game than I did Call of Duty. Because <laughs> at least I was able to get through that. Hell, at least I was able to 100% the entire thing. And hell... At least it was short. I mean, the campaign is supposed to be short as well, but... God, this is why I'm not really much into Call of Duty, though I do think Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare will always be a masterpiece. Yeah, so I guess while I'm waiting for my dad to come pick me up, I'm going to try out Persona 5 Tactica. Yeah, I'm still a big fan of Persona 5. I didn't forget about this. It's on Game Pass, so that's why I'm going to try it out. Yeah, I'm just going to be a wimp and play on safe mode, that way I'll never die, because this is a tactical game, and I'm terrible at tactical games, like, I'm really bad at Baldur's Gate 3, uh, but I still, I still am playing that, like, I haven't given up on that, like, I have been with other games, with, uh, you know, games like Call of Duty, like I mentioned before, but, yeah, so gonna, can't wait for this. Also, the English voice actors are back. Unlike Persona Q2, where they just had the Japanese dubs. Oh no, Balan has a son. Please don't tell me we're getting a spinoff. Alright, so I got to my dad's place a little bit late, but, uh, yeah, um, he likes to put out inflatable decorations. There's a minion out there. Uh, 
right there is supposed to be a turkey, but all you can see right there is its tail. I think that's supposed to be the Grinch hanging from a wreath. And uh, there's a tree. It'll look a lot better. It's not fully finished yet, but yeah. And... Gracie! We see all the time, not just on Thanksgiving or Christmas. Yeah! Right, Gracie? How old are you? How old are you again? I forgot. She's old. But she's still kicking. Let me look at her. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, happy Thanksgiving, and uh, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is about to start uh, shortly. Uh, there are a few reasons why I want to watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Goku, Monkey D. Luffy, and Bluey. That's pretty much it. Alright, so I watched the parade. It was really nice to see Bluey back, and it was really nice to see Goku back, and it was really nice to see Luffy's debut. The only problem was that Luffy's hat was deflated. Well, hey, at, at least he could still float, but yeah, that, that was kind of a bummer, but nobody, nobody even mentioned it in the parade. Some people mentioned it online, but hey, I, at, at least it's not like back in the 90s parade when when the Barney one just completely popped, just there was just so much strong wind, and it just completely popped. So, yeah, at least that something like that hasn't. Happened. I don't think has anything like that ever happened since. Cause, yeah. Um, tonight I'm gonna be seeing Napoleon. Uh, we're gonna have dinner, and then about a few hours later we're gonna see Napoleon. Really looking forward to it. It's Gracie again. You can never have too much Gracie. Hey, happy Thanksgiving, Gracie. All right, about to head out. Uh, gonna do some Black Friday shopping. We're probably gonna be out for like five, maybe six hours, give or take. But yeah, I'm gonna try going to a couple Best Buys. Then after that, I am never gonna be going back there. Hell, they might have already gotten rid of physical media, but I'm just gonna go just in case. So yeah. This is going to be sad, but, but, well, it was their choice to get rid of physical media. Alright, Best Buy. Uh, this is going to be my last visit. After this, it's farewell to you. I mean, they'll still be around. I mean, for me, it's farewell because, you know, they're getting rid of the only thing that I come in here for. All right, so I actually was able to find a few things, but yeah, um, I know I'm wearing a hat made for kids, but I don't care. Um, but yeah, goodbye, Best Buy. I don't know what there is else to say, but yeah, just, I'll miss you. Maybe one day you'll realize that getting rid of physical media was a terrible mistake, but then maybe and then maybe I'll come back. There's always hope. All right, I'm back at home now. I figured uh, you guys would want to see a little bit more of Winnie. Uh, right? Winnie, 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 Winnie. Yeah, she's crazy. Super crazy. She will not stop biting me, but at least she's not doing it in a vicious way. So I did find a pretty decent amount of uh, films. Probably not as much as last year, but... Some of them were at regular price, but, you know, it was it was going to be my last visit to Best Buy, so that's basically why, so, yeah, I'm really going to miss going there. So I'm about to head out to see Wish. I'm in my new uh, Demon Slayer jacket, and, um, yeah, you see all those inflatables out there. Yeah, my dad wants me to show them on camera. Um, I think I'm going to show it in a short, but... Um, I'm also going to show it in, in this vlog, so, yeah, but he has gone all out on this one, so, yeah, he, like, there's, like, there's one over here on a ladder, there's, there's the Grinch hanging from a wreath, there's even one on the roof, which I'll show, but yeah, he just, he might have gone a little too overboard with this one, but, yeah, you agree, Gracie? Yeah, you agree? Yes, she, she agrees. Yes, she knows. Oh. 
Я еще не разумею. God, it's so freaking cold in the theater. I, I can't believe it. Usually I don't get cold. Um, but yeah, I'm about to see Wish seeing it in 3D because I still support 3D. Um, it's at an earlier show time. We're going to go to Panera after. I'm not going to go too heavy because, you know, this jacket's a large and I want to... <laughs> I would rather go lower with my size than higher again. Well, Wish was a big fat letdown. I didn't hate it, it's just, it just felt a lot more like they're just recycling all of their classic films and just putting it together into a movie. It's basically a new movie disguised as a nostalgic slideshow, pretty much. Again, it wasn't bad, it's just one of their weaker films. One of their weakest in quite a while. But even though I already did my uh, Black Friday video, I'm going into another Best Buy because we just passed by another Best Buy and I might as well because I'll have no reason to go back. Well, you know. So it's pretty rainy out right now. Um, yeah, um, but I'm just going to show you this. Yeah, my dad went all out and he wanted me to show it in a video, so... Yeah, but I guess I can just show you the tour. Uh, there's a minion, there's a Santa Claus going, uh, I don't know what that is, a chimney or something. If he goes down the chimney, or I don't know, there's a snowman family, there's a Grinch, there's Santa Claus. Up there, there's Santa Claus and the snowman. And there's a sign that just says Merry Christmas. Just, yeah, he just went all out. There's a, there's another Grinch. And another Grinch. And, uh, of course, there's Bluey and there's Bingo. Uh, it's, we were shocked to know that, uh, the Bingo one was bigger than the Bluey one. Especially since Bluey's the older sister, but... Yeah, I mean, there is another version that's the same size. Uh... But, since we already had a Bluey, that's... What was that? Oh, no, I don't care. And there's there's a Nutcracker, but... Yeah, he went a little too overboard. But hey, he does this every year. I feel like, uh... <laughs> yeah, he just gets more creative with this stuff. So I'm casually going by the park, and, uh... Yeah, there's just, like, geese everywhere, and I think I might see some ducks, too. Uh, yeah, I think those might be ducks, some of them. Anyway. Yeah, they're just chilling. And the rain. Hey, you, shouldn't you be... <sighs> you just want to be alone, or are you just feeling bad about something? Oh, oh, no, 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 you just... You guys uh, better be careful because uh, I feel like there's enough people in the neighborhood to feed people for Christmas dinner. Alright, now is the part where I spend some quality time with Winnie in the rain. That's okay, okay, so. Hey, Winnie, Winnie! No, not that. Okay, put that down. Put that down. Alright. Hey, Winnie, Winnie, you got the ball? You got the ball? Yeah, you want the ball? Get the ball! Get the ball, come on. Come on, you got it, you got it, come on. Okay, it's like really hard for her to get it in her mouth. Indoors. Or outdoors. No, she's able to get it fine indoors, come on. Okay, maybe we should try something else. Okay, so we're gonna try with this thing. Um, all right, ready? Ready? Okay, go get it. All right, come on, pick it up. Okay, okay, now she managed to pick that up. Okay, bring it over here. Bring it over, bring it over. Bring it over, okay, drop it. Drop it, drop it. No, no, no tug of war. No tug of war, no tug of war. Okay, this was a bad idea, too. Okay, let go. Winnie, let go. Winnie, I'm serious, let go. Let go. Let go. What? Let go. 
<laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. I guess we're playing tug of war now. Okay, you know what? You win. <laughs> All right, I'm back at my house now. I'm pretty bummed that Thanksgiving's over, but hey, at least we got Christmas. So yeah, um, earlier I was watching Good Burger because I never seen it before, and the sequel is out now, it's streaming on Paramount Plus. And honestly, it was a really bad idea watching it because that's gonna get me craving for burgers at a fast food place, and I'm still trying to lose weight. But yeah, it's my first time watching it, and it's pretty good. No pun intended. It's uh, definitely not a bad film. Like, I get why it has the massive cult following, but I definitely don't think it's a great film. Like, I definitely, it definitely has shown its age, but hey, for what it is, it's, uh, I'll definitely take it over something like The Last Stairbender or Playing With Fire any day, because those are Nickelodeon movies as well, so, yeah. All right, so I'm going to play some more Baldur's Gate 3 because I'm pretty sure that this game is more than likely going to win Game of the Year at Game of the Year Awards. I've really been trying to get more into it, but I'm just so, so bad at this game because I'm not really familiar with the Dungeons and Dragons style gameplay. But you know what? It's not going to stop me from wanting to get into more of this, which is why I never reviewed the game because it is extremely long. But there were just times where I just got so frustrated, lost so much progress. But you know what? I do want to try getting into more of this game, especially since it uh, South Park made a reference of this game in their latest special. But yeah, I'm just I'm just terrible at this game because it's really hard for me to understand the whole Dungeons and Dragons thing, especially since I'm not really a tactical gameplay guy. But, you know, I, I do want to get more into it. So I'm just going to try my best and see how much further I can get into this. So I have gotten a tad bit further in, and uh, I'm just going to say right off the bat that I romanced someone and unlocked a scene between them, so I'm making progress on that. And I'm starting to learn more of uh, what the parasites can do, so yeah, I think I am just going to be tending to let the parasites go stronger rather than trying to get rid of them, because I feel like it's just going to be more fun. And probably more helpful, too, because it definitely helped me a little bit during battle. Or one of the battles, anyway. So far. Well, I'm ready for some more time at the gym. Well, almost. I gotta boost up my energy first. Okay, now I'm ready. Once again, it's time to end the vlog and get ready for a new vlog. Uh, next month, we will be completely free for Christmas to talk about Christmas because there's nothing stopping us. Because Halloween's over, Thanksgiving's over, you know the drill. But yeah, I have quite a bit of plans for December, so yeah, just look forward to that. Hope you guys have a good Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have your plans for Christmas up already. I, I already have my plans, like I mentioned before, but yeah, anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.